Hey everyone, welcome back. I have recycled my makeup from a previous video. If you watched that one, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below letting me know that you've watched it. So I'm actually gonna add a little bit of glitter onto this. So this is one of the Urban Decay Heavy Metals. It's just this beautiful purple shade and I thought that this complemented it quite well. I just recycled this eye look because I love this vampy smoky eye and I thought hmm this would be perfect so once that glitter's on I'm gonna try to leave my lids closed to dry but I didn't it creased so I'm gonna go in with this elf primer and hydrator it smells so good and it's so soft this is gorgeous for my foundation, I'm going to be going in with this Ofra Absolute Coverage Foundation. This is a pretty light shade. I realized I have a little bit of a tan right now. So I'm putting this all over. I'm not going to worry about um, filling in, you know, the foundation after I do the special effect. I'm just going to do my whole face. I'm also going to add a little bit of concealer just right underneath my eyes just to clean up that eyeshadow line. I'm going to be adding a little bit of a cream contour. I'm using the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Duo. I only use the darker side in shade number one. And then I'm going to set my entire face with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I love this stuff. I use it nearly every day. This is just, you, you can't beat it for the price. You really, really can. So I'm popping that on with a beauty blender, really mattifying my skin, and then just blending it out with the brush. I'm also blending the edge of my eyeshadow a wee bit just so it has a little bit of a smokier look to it and not so harsh from the beauty blender and the concealer. Today I am gonna be using a Too Faced blush. Uh, I just really like this tone. It kind of like marries everything together really, really nicely and because this is, you know, Halloween, we have to glow. So I am going to be adding a highlighter and this is just a Wet n Wild highlighter. I forget the name. It'll be in the description box. I am going to spray my brush with the setting spray from Wet n Wild as well and just pop that on. This highlighter is so pretty. I'm using that same technique for my inner tear duct as well with the exact same highlighter like look at how pretty this is oh my gosh you just really can't beat that for my lips i'm going to be adding a rimmel liquid lipstick one of their stay mattes again i forget the name it'll be in the description box down below this color is absolutely gorgeous i could not pass it up That completes our eyes and our face, and now it's time for the bullet wound. So I'm going to pin my hair back, and you might want to put gloves on for this because we are going to be working with prosate, and prosate can be kind of tricky to get off, and it gets really, really sticky. So what I have done is I've poured some prosate in a bottle, and I've let it dry so it's kind of thicker, aka Bondo. I'm just mapping out a little circle on my head just so you guys can know what I'm doing. I'm going to take a spatula with a big glob of the prosate or the Bondo bondo that's thickened or the prose that's thickened aka bondo and I'm just glooping this right on the center of my head there's also some fall fake blood in there as well that I didn't bother to clean my spatula off with I'm using a latex free sponge I just got these at the dollar store I'm gonna dip this in water water will blend out the edges of your prose it almost like dissolves it in a way it's like water soluble ish so I'm going to use that wet sponge and just smooth out the edge. I'm going to slightly pull away just with the corner of the sponge and then after I'm going to go along with more of the actual side of the sponge and really create a nice gradient. Also take note that I am doing this bigger than I actually want it because prosade shrinks when it dries. Next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spoon out or spatula out a giant hole right in the center. I made it kind of very, you know, circular and round and now I'm kind of making it 
you know, a little less perfect and round. Now, because it was thicker in the center, it's going to look like it has different edges and that your skin is kind of coming out. Now you can see it kind of drying up and it goes clear when it's drying. So that should all, you know, go clear. Now the center of the bullet wound needs something because there's still flesh, there's still skin there that kind of closes up again once the bullet's actually made its way through your skin. So I'm just adding a little bit of Prosade right in the center there. And for smoothing this out, I definitely recommend dipping your spatula in some water beforehand, just so the spatula doesn't stick to it. And then you can, you know, dab it around with your sponge and sort it all out. Prosade is sticky or tacky if you do not set it. So we do have to set it with something in order for it not to stick, because if we touch it, it's gonna stick and things are gonna pull. I'm just setting it with some powder and then I'm gonna go in with some foundation on top. I always like to set it with powder first. I don't know why. It's completely up to you if you wanna just go in with foundation beforehand. I'm pulling the foundation all across my forehead and then up on the sides of the wound as well, so it does look like skin. Painting this is super easy. I'm going in with this Ben Nye wheel and I'm just taking this reddish tone and this is gonna go around the inner perimeter of the wound and up against the sides or the edges of the interior of it as well because that's going to look like your flesh that is opening up. I'm just doing it red because I'm trying to make this so you guys can do this at home so it's super easy. Most of this is going to be covered in blood, so I wouldn't be too dead set on making it perfect and painting it amazing. I'm next going to take some yellow because this is going to, you know, look like the flesh that is actually coming out of your head or wherever you put your bullet wound. And then I'm going in back with some of that deeper tone as well. Now I'm taking this sponge and dipping it in the deeper shade and then that center kind of pinkish shade as well. And I'm just dotting this all around the wound just to make it, you know, a little less perfect around there and then I'm just kind of blending that out with a little um, brush as well and I am going to add a little bit of dimension also in a little bit at the end of the video and then I'm also adding these little like capillary vein lookalikes as well just you know to add a little something there so it's not so boring so I'm going to be adding some FX blood this is from my kit last year and it's kind of thicker than I wanted it to be so I'm going to be starting off with this blood and then switching to a different blood. I'm just going to squirt some of this up this tube and then this is how I'm going to apply it because this is the easiest way for me to apply it otherwise with a brush it just gets everywhere. So I'm just popping it in the middle and this is really great for, it's nice that it's thickened because this way it's actually sticking to the wound otherwise it just falls and I'm just trying to drip it down my head and kind of guide it along there as well. So this is the other blood that I decided to use, which this moves a little bit better. As you can already see, it's already gliding right down my face. Now I am kind of working with this because I don't want it to, you know, drip all the way down to my chin because that is not a pretty look. So I'm just letting it go about halfway down my face and then adding more and just helping the blood, you know, glide. After I added the blood, I was pretty much done, but I thought I should add a little bit of shading to make it look like it's actually, you know, a little bit swollen and protruding. So I'm just taking this gray tone from this Moroccan Spice palette and just dotting it right around. And I'm also add, adding a little bit of red, that red deep tone around there too. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one.